Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna check out upcoming cyberpunk shooter in VR with aim controller support. I'm talking about Distortion VR. The developer sent me very, very early version of the game, which is like a maybe pre-alpha build or something like that, just to showcase some features what you're gonna see in final game. So I'll be checking it out. Of course, like in my previous preview, which was Time Hacker. This is captured on PC because Sony doesn't allow that unless you've got, of course, development kit which cost two and a half grand and I do not have it, sadly, or maybe thankfully. If I spend that much money on something what I really use, I, yeah, I actually I would, so yeah, I am stupid. But anyway, let's check out the Distortion VR. Very interesting game. It's currently in Kickstarter. Fingers crossed that they're gonna succeed. It looks like they will. They don't ask in for a lot of money, so let's just jump into it. Okay, hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. Let's check out the Distortion VR. This is a very, very early version of the game. Just a little demo the developer sent to me. So you can explore the apartment where I am now and then you can go to the rooftop to your shooting range and you can fly car around. And that's the little demo he put together because he's putting the game on the Kickstarter in order to get it released. Uh, so I think he asked for 10k. So not, not a big goal. So I'm assuming the game is gonna achieve it. And Distortion VR is a cyberpunk shooter. Uh, when you want to look at cyberpunk, check out this world outside. This is very, very cyberpunky. It looks super nice. So I appreciate that. You've got little smoke rooms very nicely on my, uh, you know, laptop while you, with the recording software, which is even, you know, more taxing on the processor. So yeah, very nicely optimized. It's running on highest settings. This is your computer. I'm assuming this probably gonna be your base of operations. I don't know. Uh, this is your televisions. Wow, look at the screen. You must be loaded. Check out your apartment. This is pretty nice. So let's see what else is there. Can go through the doors yet? If this is what's that? C007. This is, must be your droid or something. I don't know. So that's the kitchen. No chairs. Uh, you are a minimalist. Not even wallpaper. Can I open fridge? No. So like I said, it's an early demo. Uh, what I'm seeing. Everything seems to be too bit too big, so I think scaling might be a bit toned down. Uh, what else we've got here? A uh, bathroom. That's your bath. Massive. You know, view through the window. Well, check out having view like that from the bathroom. Niceness. Look how cyberpunk it all look. That's when you go to the pools, feces, stools, and urines. This toilet roll is huge. That's the biggest toilet roll ever. Would come handy in the pandemic. Mirrors not working yet. Like I said, it's a very, very early version. So what else is in this apartment? It's quite a cool apartment. Yeah, huge chair. Yeah, the scaling definitely needs some reworking. Double bed, very nice. Some neon lights. Another view on other side of the city. That looks cool as well. Okay, let's progress to the hotel. Let's see what's happening. So I'm playing, of course, with on PC because PlayStation uh, not allows demos like that, so we don't have them. So I'm playing with PC controllers, but this game will support aim controller on PlayStation VR as well. Okay, let's go upstairs to the shooting range. Okay, we've got loading screens. So uh, no loading screens in the game yet, so we've just got this weird uh, graphic, but never mind. Like I said, very, very, very early version of the game. Okay, things loaded pretty fast. Wow. Now I said the scaling is, things in the apartment are too big, but this city looks pretty impressive. Loads of neon lights, loads of cool stuff, yeah, so that's like what you want in Cyberpunk. So let's check out some weapons. I saw somebody walking, all oh, right, so that's the... How do I grab it? Oh yeah, with the grab button. So I can have two. Okay, let's shoot something. Sorry if that's like extremely loud. This dude, okay. How do I reload? Alright, I've I reloaded somehow. Nice explosion. Alright, it's auto reloading, never mind. So that's another weapon. Oh no, that's the one I use. Okay, so I'm assuming that's gonna be come handy with aim. So yeah, this is like 200 weapon, but you can hold one each. So when you press grab button, another one appears. So I'm assuming with aim, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Very loud. Okay, what's that one? 
I say the white ones look pretty nice. Can I show this? Oh, I like the sounds of that one. Let's get those bottles. Eagle Eye Paul again strikes back. So you got this laser sight. I'm assuming that's what you're gonna use in the game. Probably a lot of things will change. Like this, uh, people might think, what's this dude doing? I just wanna shoot into people's houses. I'm a crazy maniac on the rooftop. Okay, so we've got one more weapon to check out. Let's just go and have a look. We've got two more weapons to check out. Oh, that looks nice as well. The bottle see appealing. Oh, you can destroy boxes, I didn't know. So there's no enemies, I don't think, in this demo. Just like a little, maybe, it's got nice physics with boxes as well. So like a maybe showcase of physics and guns and stuff. Uh, I'm assuming the more will be added. Let's have a look at this. That's nice as well. Yeah, weapons models. Looks nice. They're not very animated. They're moving around, but that's about it. Yeah, I like this one the best, I think. Let's get this button. So yeah, if you shoot box at the bottom, the top one will fall off. So the ones you can destroy, this one you can. Shoot this dude. Okay, so that's that. What else? I know you can fly a car. I love how this city looks. That's gonna be pretty cool venturing out to it and fight some enemies. Okay, what's this? How do I get in the car? He said you can fly a car. Oh, I'm in the car. All right, so I just walk up to it. So once again, no loading screen, so I have to wait. I got this game installed on my normal high hard drive, no SSD. My SSD drive is full. Okay, so I'm in the car. Okay, so you can. So he kind of flies automatically forward. I'm assuming that's gonna change. You cannot fly up and down yet, but like I said, and always been saying. Flying in VR feels great, and this is, feels pretty cool as well. So I'm flying through this neon filled city, that's nice. We've got this, if you've got dreams, you've got this demo, will I crash to this? Like a futuristic city demo, check it out, you can like control your car fully. And that's pretty nice as well, yeah, so I'm assuming like a coffee emoji, loads of adverts of course, robotics, yes, we in cyberpunk. I don't know how far I can fly, but this is quite impressive, very expansive city. So tall uh, skyscrapers, of course. I'm assuming all the slums are below. Okay, I'm gonna crash or am I gonna fly through it? I just flew through it, so that's not sorted yet. But like I said, very, very early version. So I'm kind of on my own in this city at the moment. There's no other people, but very nicely optimized. I must say for my laptop horsepower, to play on the highest graphics settings, it's pretty cool. I want to fly through this uh, pink neon woman. I've done it. Okay, so I don't know, like, kind of what is my destination here. The city is never ends. Okay, so we approach the end of the city. Actually, that's impressive how big it is. That's nice. So I'm assuming we left main area, now we're in like suburbs there, but that's the flying over now. So yeah, I must say this little like a, how should I call it, tech demo maybe? It's kind of alright, it's not bad, it's showcasing what is possible once the game gets fully funded. But from what I saw so far, I really liked it. So, uh, Kickstarter page is, I wonder if you can see it in other cars as well. Kickstarter page is live. I think it's the only one, it's that one, yeah. You cannot use them once, only that one at the end. If you want to support the game on Kickstarter, go and do it. Uh, this one seems legit as well. I know there was some issues with Kickstarter a few times. Which weapon I liked, this one. Okay, so yeah, when I try to... So that's pretty much just Oculus controller, so you cannot just kind of grab this weapon with two hands yet, but probably you're gonna be able to do it. I mean, the shooting feels alright, feels alright. 
checking out the physics again. Yeah, nice. So that's the distortion VR, kind of like a preview. I told you what it's all about. Of course, in full game, you've got like proper, you know, I like the fact that it's got already smooth locomotion and smooth turning. In full game, of course, you're gonna have your own. Oh, that's nice. I just saw that. You've got your enemies and your, uh, you know, proper like levels to go through. So that's gonna work nice. So for a little tech demo, what he's done, this is, I think, like one person job this. It's kind of impressive and I like how very nicely optimized it is. I let you know what's gonna happen with the game in the future, uh, but as of now from uh, things to see what to come, it looks quite all right. Okay, I'm gonna go anyway. If you like what you see, as always, of course, please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye. Oh!